Hello everyone, welcome to the Hive Productions. Guys, in this video today we have the Adobe Illustrator and we are going to create and we are going to play with some 3D Revolve tool in Adobe Illustrator. Normally guys, uh, Adobe Illustrator is the 2D software but uh, we can also work in it as a 3D object through Revolve tool. So I'm just going to take the new canvas and after taking the new canvas, this is my new canvas. So I'm just going to give you the brief intro about the Adobe and the Revolve tool in Adobe Illustrator. You can find this Revolve tool in Effects and find out the 3D and this one is Revolve. So what is 3D first of all? So I'm just going to create a simple box here with the help of approx this color and there's no stroke. So furthermore, I have to do that. This is my simple box and the box is 2D. That means it has the Y axis and it has the X axis. But what if I do to make it 3D? So we need to add simple thing is the depth, the Z axis. One is Y, second one is X. So the third axis will be Z, which is going to be depth. So for that purpose, you just need to go to the effect, find out 3D and make it extrude and bevel. So extrude and bevel, what will extrude and bevel do this? When I will check this on the preview, so you will find out the depth in it. You can increase the depth to create some more 3D look. So as you can find out, this is my Y axis, this is my X axis, and this one depth will be my Z axis. So the same things uh, you will have to play with Revolve tool. So for example, I'm just gonna take the pen tool and, and this time I will open my stroke here and after the stroke that uh, just going to draw a shape something like uh, this and this uh, approx something like this so furthermore if i will this time i will go to the effect 3d and after 3d you just need to select the revolve tool when you select the revolve tool so you will find out this preview option just check this on and you can find out this is become a 3d and it's an object so how it becomes a 3d with the help of a revolve tool because uh, i have created a simple line and this is the angle angle has to had created this into a 3d rotation suppose if i will take a zero so the previous simple line if i'll take the 20 percent angle make it the previous so this line is going to be start to draw in a revolve or in the rotation make it suppose 60 angle so this is now getting draw so if i will make a 180 so it will become half so actually these lines which as i have already created these lines is revolving into 360 degree so by this it is becoming proper 3d object look like a proper 3d object so now we are going to create something special with this uh, and we are going to play with some patterns as well so let's uh, see for example, let's create the bottle, um, shampoo bottle, not champagne, <laughs> shampoo bottle. So this time I'm just going to take my color, the stroke. For example, I'm going to take the dark color, dark, uh, dark blue color as my main bottle. So I just, I will take the pen tool right now and I'll draw a shape simple shape like uh, this and for example like this and uh, make it something curve and something like this so this is my shape my basic shape what we'll have to do we have to i'm gonna take the control r just to create the ruler just to find out that my 
path is on the same way suppose like this if I will drop it here so this point is touch but this point is not touch so you will have to see the zoom select the direct selection tool select this point and throw arrow key just place it on the right this is perfect so the next step is just to treat your edges properly because this is getting disturbed extra curve so I think this must be now this is perfect so the same step I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go to the effect find out 3d and this time you will have to find out revolve tool after finding the revolve uh, you will have to check this on preview so this is the portal actually we have created so, so I'm gonna do this uh, first of all I will have to find out this is the positions different positions suppose you want to see your object from the front you want to see from the back you want to see in axis front you want to see y axis or left back front or furthermore you can uh, operate this box through seeing any angle from your bottle from the back side from the bottom side from the top side whatever you want so this time I'm just going to take the front this is my front for so now actually I'll have to go to the more option more option if you will find out so you can see this is this is the white piece actually this this is the lighting and uh, when you will find out the light here so this is my lighting in fact you can control and you can change the position of your lighting from this corner from the down corner from the top it will glow or from the center so you will see furthermore you can add more lights from this point suppose i'm gonna take this light from the right side and take another light and i will i will place on the left side so you can find out the light glow stuck on both side left or right these are the light intensity light ambient these are the parameters of lighting you can find out the surface in wireframing mode is your wish you can find out in shading only no shading like no shading that means only a basic color this is a diffuse shading and furthermore it's a plastic shading which you can find out which will show you the shades of the lights so I'm gonna take the ambient light a little bit down because when the light is glowing on this point so this must be in the dark and I'll decrease the light intensity as well okay so this time I will click OK so this is my 3d bottle is ready but it is thick right now so i think you should take the direct selection tool select this point and make it decrease by arrow key because it's a shampoo bottle and shampoo must be must not be so thick bottle so this time we have to create the cap of this bottle so another time this you will have to select the color suppose I'm going to take a little bit golden color little bit golden and uh, I have to draw the shape of cap so press ctrl plus for the zoom and this time uh, I'm just going to draw a shape for example like this this okay so this is my uh, basic shape furthermore go to the effects 3d and find out revolve tool and check the preview 
so now we have seen this we have created this take the front and same thing same thing take two lights for creating the same shading like this decrease the amount and decrease the light module as well This is perfect right now, so I will have to place this here and just take the these points by direct selection tool and decrease their width. So this is perfect right now, so I'm just going to draw another shape. For example this shape fill the color here and uh, normally we have to treat them like this now furthermore you can change your perspective you will have to draw them Okay, so just take the 3D tool, extrude and bevel, and uh, make it the preview. Just put down the depth, approx 20. Okay, approx 10. Take another light, approx uh, 5. That's perfect just applied here so this is the this is my simple bottle I have model but the main thing is that you have to texture texture that means that I just want to add some name of the brand name of the brand the name of the shampoo and some taglines like this so this time so i have to start my creating design okay so i'll uh, create that design this is my design i'm gonna take duplicate all of them like this okay so i'm going to take the name name will be f m f m means female and male that means this shampoo can be used both of them so this is my f m shampoo okay that will be my line And I'm going to increase the stroke, suppose 4. Take another text tool and which will increase the text of shampoo. Okay. And uh, I'm going to select all of them. has to set through this logo 
and in the end I will find out it is the tagline hairless solution I'm going to change the font just Arial Arial regular or maybe bold it has to be little in size and make it a character so decrease the difference decrease the increase the distance like this okay select this uh, shampoo title FM and add the gradient in it so if you don't can cannot add the gradient so you have to converted them into the object this is the text and you have to convert them into the object so how can you do this you can select this press ctrl shift o so after ctrl shift o it is not text anymore it becomes f uh, object so in that object so i'm going to select this point take this tool sorry this point and i'm going to select for example this color and select this one make a this color so it will become a little bit sight of golden it's too much dark so have to find out like this i think it has to be more light No, dark will be good. So select them, Control Shift to convert into the object, select the same gradient. Take the line, select the same gradient. And here loss solution, Control Shift O becomes an object and take the same gradient. So now this is become my proper text font. I'm gonna go to the this part here, take the symbol and just drop them into the symbol so it will ask it will ask the name of your symbol so i'm gonna uh, give the name is fm shampoo so this is my symbol is ready here in fm shampoo so i'm gonna make it to the side side take your uh, bottle find out this part this is called the appearance and uh, select the 3d revolve tool so you will find out again inside of your 3d option this time last time we have select this uh, options more options uh, so the current currently we will select map art map art will going to tell you the structure of your bottle into the pieces so let's find out this will be my proper map art i think so so i will go to the symbol and check my fm shampoo so let's place it down fm shampoo is not working so change your surface okay on this point we will play okay okay fine right now that we have adjusted them sorry that was mistakenly done so if you will select the ok and uh, I'll go to the again insight right now and select my light according to the shades So this is time I have to say that my portal is ready I will delete them I don't need them so you can find out that my portal is properly ready I hope you like this tutorial I hope you learned something special so if you like this kindly subscribe my channel press the bell icon thank you so much